Tip Tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Um, today we are looking at recreating a tilt shift effect um, in Photoshop. Now um, what this does is make it look like uh, you're actually looking at miniatures when you are in fact looking at a real life photograph. This is a tilt shift effect off and this is the tilt shift effect when in place. Um, as you can see it makes it look like um, the depth of field is incredibly narrow because you're actually zoomed in very close on a miniature set. Um, can be quite useful in macro photography to reinforce like um, the small scale of the um, subject of your photo. Um, so uh, let's dive right in. Um, I'm just going to reactivate this tutorial here, the tutorial folder. First thing you want to do anytime you're doing anything in Photoshop, duplicate your layer, your layer with the um, shortcut command J. This means you've got an original unbroken copy just um, just in case you irreparably destroy things because this is a destructive process um, so you're going to want to right click on your image if it's a smart object and hit rasterize layer otherwise you can't apply the effects that you need to um, the second thing you want to go into quick mask mode by pressing Q um, and this will bring up a nice red hue over your layer um, and you're going to want to grab your gradient tool um, if you double click inside here, you can set up your gradient editor and you're going to want a pure white um, uh, on 0%, pure black on 50 and pure white on 100. Now, the pure uh, white areas are going to be completely out of focus and the pure black areas are going to be completely in focus um, and the range there in between uh, is going to be obviously 0 to 100% incrementally. Um, so. You can actually have the um, white areas be gray if you want them to be sort of not 100% out of focus. It's completely up to you. Um, now, if I just quickly draw a line, you can see that we don't actually get a white and black focus field. What we actually get is a red stripe on the screen. Um, and this determines your area which is going to be in focus. Now, when you draw a line with the gradient tool, um, you're actually drawing from what you want the center point of your gradient to be. And when you drag and let go, that's the outermost part of your gradient. Now, because this is a fade, the red doesn't actually go all the way up to the end. But trust me, that is where it will stop. So for example, a nice thing to do might be to grab this train um, make sure that the angle of the line is correct and perhaps keep just the train in focus. So let's keep playing around until we get something which we're sort of happy with. That seems about right. Maybe adjust the angle a touch more. Um, something like that. That seems okay. Um, actually, let's just... There we go. Um, so now we've got this area. This is the area we want to be in focus. You just hit Q again. And what that does is that activates the quick mask and applies that in that area. And as you can see now, we've got um, two areas here which we're going to blur out using a filter. Now, if you go to the filter menu and just choose blur and lens blur, if this is grayed out, that's because your item is still a smart object. You can't apply lens blur uh, to a smart object. You have to rasterize it. So if you hit lens blur, it'll bring up the um, external window here. And as you can see, it's already looking quite good. Um, now ignore these areas where it stopped. This is where the image goes past the actual um, size of the canvas. So don't worry about that. You won't see it. Um, you can adjust the shape here. Let's go down to maybe a pentagon to make the, um, the bokeh a bit more uh, regimented. Um, you can use a depth map if you want to. Um, and we can increase the radius a touch. Um, Maybe not that much. <laughs> Let's see where it is, actually. I think these are set up from where I wanted before. Just put the radius back down to maybe 13. Oh, that's nothing. Hmm. Perhaps around 20. How does that sound? Perfect. Okay, and we hit OK. Now, if you hit Command D or Control D on a PC to deselect that area, you'll notice that um, it's starting to look all, all right already. Uh, however, it doesn't actually look like a miniature yet. Um, and that's because in miniatures, um, where they're so small, the detail, the painting is actually much more bold in color um, in order to reinforce what it is, because you have to be simple and bold because it's so little. Um, so in fact, what they actually usually do is if we go to um, image adjustments and hit hue saturation, if you bump the saturation up to say perhaps 50, you'll immediately see that that makes it look more like a toy train set. Um, I think about 40 will work for this. 
So um, there's one direction. Um, the train looks great, but we get this annoying kind of strip here in the road. Um, so in fact, I don't want to do that. Let's recreate this again, but with the depth of field um, along this road here, I think that would look better. So to simply delete that layer, um, Command J to uh, duplicate it again. Hit rasterize, um, hit Q to bring up quick mask mode. You can tell because it highlights the layer. Grab your linear tool. And this time, if we go from the center of the road to, oops, wrong angle, to perhaps, is that be the right angle? Yeah, roughly, but the wrong position. So now this is the um, part which is a bit finickety, takes a bit of back and forth, bit of practice. I find it's useful to remember positions um, on the picture in which you can choose. So always click, say, the, the bottom of this sign and click roughly around here, and then you'll get the area that you're after. That seems right to me, so we'll hit Q to apply it. Um, and then we go to our filter, blur, lens blur, and bam, looks great, let's hit OK. And then if we deselect that, there we go. Again, doesn't look particularly much like a model. It does a little bit, but if we boost up those colors using image adjustments, saturation, boost up by 50 this time, say, and there we go. Looks great already. Already looks like a miniature railroad set or miniature traffic set that we built um, in our garage because we spend all of our time alone and don't have any friends. <clears throat> okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm gonna go build some trains. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.